I thought I'd do a quick update for Corridor of Time. Uh, in the off chance that you bought this due to the video I made about the English translation patch, uh, you will have to go back in and uh, repatch the game. You should be able to just run the, uh, the BAT file again and it'll patch it. Um, I assume just the way that it works, I guess the text strings get changed or something when they update the game. They hadn't updated the game for about a month, so it was fine, but uh, when they put out this patch uh, late last night, my time, uh, basically everything was back in Chinese. So you'll have to do that, but everything else is working fine. If it lets me in the game. Alright, there we go. <laughs> So, they added two new classes. They added the Hunter. Uh, he has some kind of backstab thing. Uh, I'm not very good at it yet, so I'm not going to bother showing him. Uh, I honestly don't enjoy his playstyle that much, but he may just need to be leveled up more. And he added the Ninja. Now, her active is uh, just a stat boost from what I've seen. But what's really juicy is when you get her to two stars. When you get to two stars, uh, she basically gets her air hike. And she just straight up has uh, aerial, not aerial ray, but uh, enemy step. <laughs> so um, when you jump like that, so when you enemy step off an enemy, uh, it will take five stamina. So you can't be up there forever, but this is definitely the most uh, execution heavy uh, character in the game so far. So I've only got two stars right now because I didn't even notice the ninja class. I thought this guy was the ninja. <laughs> then I went up here and I had to go spend more currency on her. So it looks like she gets some buffs uh, from killing enemies. Uh, four stars looks like she gets uh, stamina when you uh, enemy step off something. Obviously the English is not the best, but uh, <laughs> we'll find out on the way. Alright, so let's go through the, uh, the first level with her. Uh, also, they added a really major change. Uh, they made it so that you could turn around in the air. Uh, you could not do that before, so the air combos felt honestly very clunky. Like, never mind the crazy enemy step combos I'm doing. It was not, it was not possible to do that before. so satisfying to pull that off. Definitely my favorite character so far. I really liked uh, Bootleg Virgil too, but I think this is going to be my next main. You can get some pretty easy uh, enemy step combos in the corner, otherwise you have to work a little bit harder at it. So the spear might actually be really good with her, because you can basically just enemy step like that. I've always thought the spear is kind of one of the more underwhelming melee weapons, but on her it may actually be a good synergy. I think this update is what this game needed, honestly. Uh, I always felt it was really weird how, you know, the you look at the, the trailer for this on the Steam page and they're showing all these crazy combos, but what they don't tell you is that before this patch last night, you could not turn around in midair at all, so a lot of times you get, like, misaligned with the enemy or you'd knock them a little bit far away and you couldn't actually continue the combo. Now that's not a problem anymore, so the game feels uh, far more responsive. Uh, also, all the event rooms have been massively buffed. Uh, they have a lot more options and more ways to buff your character. Uh, I always thought one of the other issues with this game was just the lack of, of run variety. 
Uh, I like that the game is it's more skill based than a lot of other roguelites where you know you have to like Isaac you know we had to rely on a certain small section of items dropping and actually making it so that you could either finish the run or just have fun and not torture yourself so I like that they have more ways to gamble and change your build and things like that so I'm gonna spend 10 gold coins to get a random buff ah, I got a tax speed I think the next thing this game needs to add is native D-pad support. I feel like a lot of the execution errors I have are not entirely my fault because I'm I'm forced to play on the uh, forced to play on the analog stick. But maybe that's something they'll fix later on. Uh, I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> Let's just continue. Oh wow, that might actually be a good uh, synergy item for her too. When the combo reaches A, the attack will drop 6 phantom guns, cool down for 7 seconds. I assume that's what that means. Master two-stage jump, air attack hurts 60%. Well, I think a lot of these items actually synergize better with her than some of the other characters. <laughs> could tell I'm having a little bit too much fun. I will say the characters in this actually do play pretty uh, differently even though they all have the same movesets. Just one, one another way why this game is uh, a lot more skill based than many other roguelites. The items kind of just help give your run a little bit more personality. The build is not as important in this game and a lot of other roguelites for you know, there's a bunch of trash items and stuff. Most of the items are pretty good. Also, you can air dash in opposite directions now, too. Uh, that was something that was very difficult to do before, back when the game launched. I think I got this game like a couple weeks after it first entered early access. I should also say that the, the fact that the game is more skill-based than other games in the genre is why I was able to play it in full Chinese and barely being able to read anything.
Alright, so I'm gonna try to get another buff again. Ten percent faster movement, nice. Before you really only had the option to heal, and uh, that got a little bit repetitive. A lot of times you could get a bunch of runes with those holy statues and not really have anything to do if you're good on health and healing items. Now we have another decision to make. I don't have any aerial enabled moves right now, so I have like a lot less options than I would normally, but you can kind of get the gist of uh, how it works. So I think this will give me an aerial move actually. Ah, okay, I got the launcher, so I'll, I'll continue a little bit more. I'm kind of learning as I go here because uh, this character just came out late last night. I don't know how much you can really use aerial moves with her anyway, because you're going to be putting a lot of your stamina into your enemy steps, but we'll see. I'm also not sure how much the hitboxes actually accommodate for this. <laughs> we'll see. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, I think the spear is actually really good on her, which is kind of interesting because I usually don't bother with the spear at all. The only one I really like is this one here that has the, the aerial launcher. The other ones I don't like that much because they're so ground focused and most of your combo ability comes from being in the air. So she seems to synergize pretty well with them, which I think is pretty cool. Kind of a way to uh, revitalize some of the items in the game, even if they haven't actually been changed. I don't think they did any item buffs, it's mostly just uh, kind of the control and the responsibility and then the new responsiveness and then the, the new characters. Ah, uh, this is that Bushido counter. I don't even know if I want to take that. Not having the best luck with swords this run. I was talking about right there, you see how I went past the enemy? That would happen a lot like during an aerial combo and you just get completely locked out. Kind of just fall down, watch all your damage just disappear. So I'm really glad they improved that aspect of the game. So it takes like 30 stamina to do a lot of the aerial moves. I don't remember if that's actually uh, universal or not. It depends on the move, so 
You may not be able to use them as much as you think, unfortunately. But it's always nice to have options. It'll definitely optimize your damage on bosses. Seems like they nerfed that move. It doesn't seem like it has as generous of a hitbox as it did before. Which is kind of unfortunate. The, the normal move on this, uh, this weapon doesn't really have the best payoff. And the Bushido counter is pretty underwhelming as a weapon, so... Or as a move. But this patch is uh, massive progress for this game, so... We'll see. Nah, I got this back, yeah, I'm just gonna roll with this. <laughs> I feel like the counter should do more damage, it's also like a guarantee on launch. That would make it uh, a lot more worth using. Ah, uh, the price went up, I can't get anything. So the downside to the spear initially was that it has that downward hitbox and it's a very realistic hitbox it doesn't really hit above you. But since this character has an enemy step it actually works quite well because you can use it to just uh, gain height and give yourself safety from the other enemies. So you can do stuff like this as long as you have them launched and immediately uh, next to you. You can do that and gain height and then go into like your other attacks and try to pile on more damage that way. Alright, I'm not gonna bother with that. Hmm, big sword. Now there is there is one big sword that uh, it takes damage every time you attack with it, or rather it, it uses up stamina every time you attack with it. So that would probably be the worst possible uh, take you could do on this character, because your stamina is a very precious resource with her, because you always want to be uh, jump canceling to get extra damage. I don't know how good this would be on her anyway. You could probably do like. Uh, DMC style Helmbreaker cancels, but I'm not sure how generous the hitbox is. So I'm not sure she really synergizes with the, the Zwei Honders, unfortunately. Luckily, she seems to uh, work pretty well with the other weapons. So I'm not going to go ahead and take that now.
damn. <laughs> She's definitely a good boss killer. I, I think her crowd control is a little bit lacking because her, her active uh, active ability or her, 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 I can't talk right now. Her active unique ability is basically just a stat boost. So she doesn't have things like the summon swords of the bootleg Virgil guy or the Bunshin chick who can really pile on the damage on the ground and prevent having to go into the air sometimes. But with her, she's completely aerial focused, so you need to kind of build around that. You also need to get good at the, the jump cancels as well. I think she's probably the best bosser in the game, in my opinion. I haven't messed with all the characters, but I think she has the highest potential to do a lot of damage uh, on a boss, depending on what items you have. Oh, the text doesn't translate here, but earlier in the run, I, I picked up something that gives you more damage uh, if you use a double jump, apparently, so that's probably one of the best items with her. And I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Uh, I know not too many people are interested in this game, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and post the links in the description, both to the game itself. Uh, it is $11 on Steam right now, and there's also a link to use the Unity Auto Translator so that most of the text will be translated to English or uh, whatever other language you want as well. Uh, it's not just English translation, you can use it in like Japanese or I assume other languages as well. Uh, the translation is not the best, but it's enough to just get started and play the game, so I recommend it. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.